Hi, this is Alex Paul with Aspen Core Media, and I'm here with Michael Rant. He's founder and CEO of Trinamic, a motion control company. How's it going, Michael? Oh, it's great. Hi, Alex. <laughs> yeah, we have a we have a great time. It's a it's a great show for us, yeah. and uh, yeah, we're, we're excited. Yeah. Well, you know, nowadays there's a lot going on in our space, and if you can put a little bit of a nice spin on it, no pun intended with motion control, but if you can put a nice spin on it, it's very nice. And I notice you have these interesting uh, pirate uh, motif going on here. Oh yeah, the pirate thing. Yeah, it, it, it kind of got out of control, you know? Um, it, it spun out of control, so to say. <laughs> yeah, so so uh, it started, you know, sometimes when I hire people, yeah, um, I have these millennials, and they, sometimes they are like, ah, oh, I wonder if I should work for a bigger company. Yeah. So um, I had this. Um, Steve Jobs once said here. Uh, it said, "Why join the Navy if you can be a pirate?" Yeah. So I had these caps made and 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 always handed them out to people who who applied for a job and said like, "Hey, it's so cool to work for a small company." And look what Steve Jobs said about it. Yeah. So and then so this is how the whole pirate thing started. And of course we we feel. Uh, a bit, of course, our booth here is uh, in between the booth of uh, uh, the colleagues of uh, Texas Instruments and ST, uh, so it's kind of uh, two aircraft carriers, and uh, yeah, we, we are, we're kind of the black pearl here. <laughs> <laughs> but very nice. But then again, the other side of that coin is engineering is all about what you can do. Yes. You know, nobody ever buys a part because of the, cause it's in a new color, you know? Um, right, and, and uh, our, our focus is is motion control and to build a bridge between the digital world and uh, physical motion. So um, we have we have um, we, we're living in the world that is getting more and more digital. Uh, digital, and uh, but there's around us slowly developing what we call the physical cloud. Yeah, so you have more and more motors around the human being, yeah? and uh, so there has to be a bridge from physical, uh, from the digital world to perfect physical motion. And this is what our components realize. Uh, so, and, and our focus is, uh, this is what we are best at, this is where we shine, yeah? Well, now, and also, Michael, um, you've got a couple of live demos here. We'll, we'll cut into them while you talk, yes. but can you describe some of those live demos that we have at the booth today? Yes, uh, I mean, one of, one of the big trends is, of course, um, to make the control of motors uh, better and better so it's about uh, it's about efficiency it's about performance uh, dynamic response and what we are doing what we launched uh, or show here uh, is one of one of uh, it's called field oriented control so it's a circuit that realizes uh, super fast field oriented control in hardware and uh, so it brings basically high performance motion control uh, to a to a to a level where it, it's it's affordable uh, basically in in uh, uh, lower end and and, uh, and 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 even consumer applications so well affordability and accessibility right because you can do anything with the money but what can you do on a budget yes this is this is basically the um, the idea is to bring high performance basically to street level, so to say. Yeah, so you have, you, you have uh, this is what we do, um, and this is what our components offer. Uh, so the other thing, of course, the focus here is it's an industrial show, it's about networking. Yeah, so it's not about controlling a single motor, but basically uh, to coordinate movements. And that what we show here is also uh, EtherCAT slave controllers, a family of EtherCAT slave controllers that allows for uh, uh, networking of, of uh, different drives um, in, in real time. So uh, it means coordinated movement, yeah? And this is what we show at uh, one of the demos here. So um, for all of our uh, components um, or our customers really like the idea of having the components available for a long time, so longevity. Is, is really an issue in semiconductor. Also, if you look at all the mergers and acquisitions going on, uh, roadmaps uh, basically discontinued, and Trinamic uh, stands for this longevity, for long-term availability of the components, because this is what our customers want. So um, it's about technology, it is about uh, uh, a bit about German engineering, of course, yeah, and uh, 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 reliability of the components. Yeah. Well, and the other side of that coin, tying directly to your point, is 
it isn't just one motor. It isn't just one machine. You're, you've got a smart facility. You've got, sometimes you've got a smart factory complex. You've got multiple buildings, you've got multiple, and they're all tied in together nowadays. Yes, and even if you look, if you look at embedded drives, yeah, one, one, one mega trend that we see is miniaturization. Yeah? So you had, you had big machines, for instance, a blood analyzer that was really huge, and everything goes desktop. Yeah? You see uh, desktop 3D printing, you see complex uh, machines in analytics and, and instruments that have a high number of drives that need to be coordinated and networked. So you could say a big part of our industry is like miniaturization and, um, and uh, getting basically uh, complex machines uh, making them smaller, getting them to desktop size. This is one of the things that is. And of course, it's about all is about um, uh, interconnecting devices and uh, realizing interfaces. Yeah, because we're living in a network world. Yeah. So excellent. Now, what about form factors? You, you're talking about things are getting smaller, so you've obviously also got smaller and uh, more compact, more higher power dense devices. Yes, right. I mean, this is. Um, uh, if you realize, if you think about robotics, it is about uh, getting the drivers very close to the motor. So there's not one big uh, central control unit anymore. It is basically integrating uh, motor and drive to one mechatronic unit. And we have, we have all the building blocks ready to do this. And you see, if you look at the small uh, robot over there, this is a good example for a, for a SCARA robot that is realized with our technology. You can almost call it industrial edge, right? <laughs> yes, it's, yeah, whatever. I mean, there are a lot of buzzwords. You know, we use the physical cloud, industrial edge, and it's, it's but it is, uh, the, the, the truth is that in the future, we will have a lot of systems helping us, yeah, and, and, and uh, assistance systems. Some stuff is related to the demographic development. We're all getting, or hopefully get, very old, yeah. We might need some systems that keep us at the workplace, yeah, keep us independent. So, um, we like uh, industrial automation, but a big part of our business is also medical, life sciences, lab automation, and so on, yeah. So, now, okay, we've got the solutions. How do you help the engineer put your solutions into their solutions? What kind of um, support, industrial engineering support, can you provide your clients? Yeah, of course. That's the advantage we have as a as a as a very. <laughs> we, we have lots of engineers in the company, of course. Yeah, a very very uh, stable team with a lot of experience. So, um, what we do uh, on, the, on the practical side is for all of our components, we have. Um, uh, open source uh, evaluation board, so we have a complete system that is uh, that uh, makes it very easy to try out uh, uh, the components. We have tons of reference designs, um, but what we also do is uh, for customers who have uh, really not the resources to develop their own boards, we do complete designs of boards, and also it's it's all solutions that are built with our chips. So we have all the building blocks ready and we're we are able basically to, uh, based on these building blocks, to give very fast support and get solutions to the customer very fast. And this is, this is based on the fact that we have, we have really like decades of experience in, in our team, um, in, in, in all the solutions and it's very easy for us to basically solve such problems. Very cool. Now, before I let you go, do you have any final words for our audience? I'm, I'm really convinced that, uh, that we will see a lot more applications uh, with, with motors and, uh, with, uh, um, and, and uh, uh, motion control. This is just the start. Yeah, um, and we've been at this show for a long, for many, many years. And uh, my feeling is, um, the show has grown all over the years. Yeah, but I still feel this is just the beginning of something. You know, and um, yeah. So uh, take a look at our products. Get in touch with us. Um, yeah, we are, we are looking forward to your input. <laughs> thanks a lot for taking the time at this really busy show, Mike. Okay, thanks, Alex. Thank you.